Hi everybody, welcome to our channel. My name is Leigh, I am a mother of two, and we are a family of four on a financial journey of becoming completely debt free, where we take you guys payment by payment and step by step along the way. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video, and I really hope you enjoy this and decide to stay. And if you're returning, thank you guys so much for your continued support as we navigate through this journey. By the title of today's video, I am going to show you how our family plans on becoming debt free in the year of 2023, and how we plan on paying off about 30 thousand dollars within one year um, and kind of walk you through what our current debts are how we're gonna make sure that that's obtainable and how we're gonna stay motivated along the way so first thing that we are gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this video so the first thing that we need to do is a list off the current debts or um, the current debts that we have right now I'm actually in a thunderstorm so if you hear wind or anything your girl is going through it right now. So the first thing that we're gonna be listing is what the debts are and the minimum monthly amounts and the total amount owed. So I'm just gonna write what monthly minimum and total amount. And my goal is each month I will be updating this. I do plan on keeping this in my traveler's notebook, but each month I'll probably just write it on printer paper. That way I have enough space and get my all my ideas and thoughts out on paper. And then I plan on transferring it over. So the first thing that we have is our, um, I'm just gonna write, I'm not gonna write all of their names out, but I'll tell you guys each of them as we go through them. So our first credit card is our Capital One card. That minimum payment is $25. That is the card that I've been currently working on. Um, I shouldn't say I, we've been currently working on when we do any of our unstuffings and all of our snowball payments have been going to that card. So it currently has a balance owing of $750.42. The second credit card that we have is also a Capital One card. This card has a minimum balance, I'm sorry, minimum monthly amount due of $64 a month with a total amount owed of $1,932.33. The third card is our City card and that has a minimum balance of $65 with a total amount owed of $1,123.92. The fourth card we have is Credit One, and that has a $90 minimum payment with a total amount owed of $1,789.41. And then the last card that we have is our Amex, our American Express, and that has a minimum payment of $71 or a total amount owed of $1,000. $419.57. And then we have our four personal loans. I talked about this in all of our other videos, you guys. We took out personal loans to do renovations and projects around our home. We are first time home buyers and we are actually the only ones out of our siblings that have purchased a home before. So we've never really had any way to quite give us that guidance. So we really had to learn things the hard way. So we have four personal loans as well. The first one has a minimum balance, I mean, sorry, not minimum balance, um, minimum monthly payment of $205, and there's a remaining $1,886.70. The second one monthly payment is $211, with a total amount owed of $5,877.04. The third one has a minimum a monthly minimum of $101, and that has a total amount owed of $3,474.18. And the last one has a minimum amount of $89, with a total amount of $2,334.98. And then the last thing that we have is our car, which is our Toyota. That monthly payment is $235, and we have a remaining amount owed of 
$601.83. So, perfect. So when we add up all of our monthly minimums that we have, it, this is absolutely insane, you guys. It is $1,156, and the total amount owed is $29,190.38. Is that not absolutely insane, you guys? Here, let me change the tripod just a little bit. That is absolutely ridiculous to me. I am one of those firm believers that you that's what we're starting with, right? I do know in January we are going to be paying off this card and this card. Um, and I'm trying to give ourselves grace because at the beginning of 2022, we started, I want to say, almost at 40. So we did pay off 11000 However, I do know that we really weren't that motivated in 2023. 2022, we were still living life and we were still kind of buying unnecessary things. So looking at this is definitely going to make it more obtainable and so what my plan is is that i plan on doing one of these every month with you guys showing what our new monthly minimums are and the total amount because we are doing the debt snowball so what that means is that we are working on the smallest debt and working up to the largest as well as doing our monthly minimum so even though we're paying off these two credit cards next month these balances will naturally be lower and that's because we're still paying the minimum so something is still going to the principal so now that we know we have our starting amount, the $29,190.38, I'm going to walk through our plan and how we plan on making this work. So let me go ahead and write this out right here. So we have $29,190.38. We know that our monthly minimums are $1,156. So monthly minimums and we know there are 12 months in the year so that means for monthly minimums annually we're paying what thirteen thousand eight hundred and seventy two dollars right when I subtract that from the total amount owed you guys We're going to have remaining $15,318.38. We know, so right now, if you guys have been watching our channel, we have three saving vehicles that we normally put into. We have our emergency fund our family savings, and our month ahead. We decided because we are really trying to focus on becoming debt free in 2023, and it's really a non-negotiable for us. We have a lot of things that we're putting on hold and waiting till we become debt free prior to do, that we are gonna be pulling about 6,000 from our savings. Now this amount is subject to change to more, but I think we, we both agreed on 6,000. And you guys will see that come January and February when we apply it to our monthly um, debt payoffs and when we go over that with you guys. So we have remaining $9,318.38. So now I'm gonna take that $9,318.38 and I'm gonna divide that by 12. So, Okay, so I'm going to go through the math again with you guys. So our total amount that we're starting off the year is $29,190.38. We do pay a monthly minimum of $1,156. If we times that by 12, so the amount of months there are in the year, that is $13,872, which will naturally leave us $15,318.38. I will say we are not taking into account interest because what will happen as the snowballs take place, they will go into the principal and not just the interest. So it may be a little bit more than that, but 
for simplicity and math sake, this is how we're doing it. That's going to leave us the remaining $15,318.38. We're going to go ahead and pull $6,000 from our savings, and that is going to leave us our remaining $9,318.38. We're going to divide that into 12 months. And so in order to complete our goal of becoming debt-free in 2023, we need to make a snowball amount of $776.53 a month. Now, you guys, I am not naive. I know life is going to happen. So what our plan is, is that whenever we work any extra hours or get any extra income, think of tax return, tax return, birthday money, anything like that, we're going to go ahead and throw it to the snowball. And so I know for the instance, for the month of January, we're going to have about 18, 1900 that we're going to be able to throw towards debt. And so that will cover us in an instance where maybe let's say it's a tighter month or maybe there's not any extra hours that we can work. So it will naturally balance ourselves out. But if we know if we are able to do this snowball payment, then we will be debt free by the end of 2023. Like I said, you guys, there are going to be interest. So it probably will be a little bit more than that. But but for math reasons, as we go through it each month, we'll do an update, but this is where we are starting at. So we're starting off with five credit cards, four personal loans, and a car payment. Um, so that is our goal for 2023. Like I mentioned, if you guys watched our sinking fund video, you know that we significantly cut out a lot of excess things um, from our budget to make this a obtainable goal for us. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's a lot of extra money to come up with a month. However, I do feel like with us cutting out a lot of things that if we would have cut them out in 2022, we would have definitely set ourselves up for better success. However, we can't go back in time. So this is our plan on becoming debt free in 2023. So I'm really excited to you guys along with us and put this action and put this plan to action. So if you guys are interested in following our family's journey each step of the way, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time we post and upload. If you guys are on a financial journey as well, please let me know in the comments how I love support you and your channel. And lastly, for more personable, um, to get to know me, you guys can always follow us at Motherhood and Finances on Instagram. I share a lot of reels with um, saving challenges, updates, debt payoffs, and just more day-to-day -day life and personal. So you guys can always watch that. I currently have a giveaway going on with Oshi Budgets collaboration. So there is a giveaway where you can win one of five prizes. You can win a savings challenge bundle a cash envelope starter kit or a sinking fund slash a sinking fund bundle bundle excuse me she's also giving away her savings challenge that she booked that she made and a gift card for our international watchers so if you're interested in that you can definitely check out that and like I mentioned if you're interested in seeing what our family's 2023 sinking fund I also created a video for that so that is going to be it for this video and I will talk to you guys later